The sparrow will not fall to the ground, not even a sparrow without God knowing. He feels every day. My son, Riley, he's... Not exactly in a state of grace right now. Hey, look, I think that's great. Uh, turns out I'm not much used to people who are in a state of grace. For what's to come. For the miracles that are to come. Jesus, he, he didn't really have that much interest for those kind of people either. No, he seemed to go straight for those folks who weren't in a state of grace. They were his favorite people, turns out. I'm sorry. They were the ones he called friends. For what you've been through. Yeah, we can work with that. Really, really sorry. Did it hurt you? <laughs> Does it ever get any different? Yes. For people like us? I don't think so. Nothing around us changes. Every moment of every hour of every day, a deluge of death. It's so loud, how I could hear my whispered prayers over the thundering roar of death. Bring him in. You follow me, son. You're welcome in St. Patrick's. All are welcome! All have to be welcome or this isn't really a God's house! God can take that pain and turn it into something good, something with purpose. <laughs> Suffering can be a gift, not just depends on us. Too scared to come down and be with you. I mean, too scared to tell our daughter the truth. <laughs> Suffering. Do with it, how we react to it, that isn't good or bad. God, I'm proud of you. I'm sorry that we never told you, your mother and I, but I, I love you so much. No, I've been so proud of you, and I just wish, I just wish that, that we had gotten to know each other. Me too.